Hey guys, it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace, where I make beautiful things for life soon in Sunshine and Grinning Grace. Today we are making cupcake liner flowers. What you're going to do is you're going to take your cupcake liner and flatten those little puppies out. We've all done that, right? I colored them. I splattered them with watercolor inks or watercolor paint. Then um, coffee dyed them, <laughs> baked them sprinkle and coffee on there to get like the really rich dark um, and splattered with a shimmer spray and then I came back after they were baked and crunchy and splattered them with gold flecks of paint so these have been painted and stained these littler ones I just um, because they already had color to them I just coffee dyed them a little bit and baked them too I crunched them up first though that's why they're like this I crunch them all up. I'm going to show you how I crunch one. You just take it and you crunch it starting in the center because the idea is you want it to make like a flower shape. So you crunch it from the center like this. And then you would just, once you get it all crunched, you would spray it with coffee dye or dip it. I guess if you dip it, I just use a bottle of coffee spray that I've made. It's just literally instant coffee with some alcohol in it to keep it from getting too funky. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to clean it out pretty soon because it's starting to have a slight odor to it and it's not spraying very good. Then when you do that, you spritz it like yay. I'm not going to do a whole lot because I don't want to cover the thing, but you would spritz it and then sprinkle wet coffee and some um, salt on there to get it to look pretty gives like the well my hot glue gun is falling over gives those dark spots and like the shimmers to it and I think I might have sprayed it with shimmer spray too because I'm obsessed with the shimmer spray but um that is basically it so you bake these little puppies crunched and we'll sit we'll go ahead and do it and then when you're done you once they're dry baked you just gently don't do it hard because it'll rip. Pull it apart a little bit and then squish it so that the center is somewhat flat. I have to play with them a minute to get the shape that I like. And then once I get it to the shape I like, I like that one. What about this? Ooh, I actually like that. Okay, that's a really pretty button. That's like a, I don't know, it's got like a mother of pearl look. Trigger does not work. So, um, I just push on the end of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I should buy a new glue gun. I don't. Okay, put your big gob out. Set the glue gun to the side so you don't burn yourself with it because you haven't done that a hundred times in the past few years. And pop your little button down. Push it so that it kind of sticks for a second. That just gives the glue time to grab. And then, this is what I like about the glue gun. And using these shank buttons, I can really shape that flower around that. Make like a little bit of a flump to it. Okay, I am totally off center. But you know what? That is okay. Eh, it's not too bad. Let's just kind of crinkle that side a little more. There. Okay. Flower done. Now, was that not easy? Okay. I mean, it sounds fiddly when I'm doing it. Because I'm like, you got to scrunch it. And all this. But it's not. Okay, so take them one of the ones that I did flat. So I dyed them, squished them flat, dyed them, and you just got to kind of wrinkle them up too. Just the exact same process. It's just a lot harder when they're flat and baked flat because they don't cooperate. And some of them will break. Like those dark spots, those things are fragile. Like really. So um, yeah, you just kind of squish it into a shape that you like. I like a lot of wrinkles to give that depth and stuff. So I'll probably squish it more than I need to and then flatten it back out to kind of give it some oomph. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of making it up as I go, you guys. <laughs> In case you hadn't figured that one out yet. Yeah, y'all are like, yeah, we know. Believe me, woman, we know. I know. I'm a goof. That's... Do you want to talk about goof? Okay, the other day, um, it was Friday, I was out feeding my animals, you know, I do that every morning, go out and feed the critters, and you know, just kind of do my thing out there, you know, 
singing, carrying on, just having fun, feeding them, talking to them, carrying on with them. Uh, yes, I do act like they talk back to me, okay? I answer myself for them. <laughs> Anyways, so I've got this one feral duck. I've got two feral ducks, actually. They're Muskegee. Well, Muskogee. Muskogee. Muskogee ducks. I don't know why I say Muskegee. I always do that, but they're Muskogee ducks. And they, um, basically, they're feral ducks. They showed up a couple years ago. Just little bitty cute things. And so we just kind of start feeding them and they hang around. They do not, um, they lay eggs, but they hide their eggs. So they're not producing anything of any value other than they're highly amusing. So the one is white and like solid white. And the other one's like black and white and are almost a green color. I call her goose, the green one, because she does have like a green sheen to her, like an oil slick is kind of what it looks like. But um, the other one's just white and the white one, does this thing with its head like when it's wanting to eat it loves bread they both love bread okay they will follow you around like dogs trying to get bread and every morning Sita the white one meets me at the bottom of my steps and she walks around following me until I get done feeding so that I will give her some bread so she's doing this Friday morning you know and it's raining and it's slick and I'm wearing like shoes that don't really have uh they're crocs okay they're just crocs they're slick slicker than snot and i walk across a piece of plywood that my kid laid in the driveway because he was working on his truck because his jeep's still not running and now his truck doesn't his truck doesn't run his jeep doesn't run poor kid got shafted on the jeep i'm afraid he's you know he's trying but he cannot get it to work right it's just giving him all kinds of fits so we um he laid that there to work on his truck he was trying to put the detent cable back in and did you see, I still try to squeeze it, even though I know it does, the trigger does not work. But um, he left that in the driveway, and I did not think about it and stepped on it. And I'm telling you what, my legs went straight out from under me up in the air. And I come crashing down on that. And I had two carrots for the rabbit and that bread in my hand. <laughs> and that feral duck, man, Sita, she jumped right over top of me. <laughs> And grabbed that piece of bread as it was flying through the air. <laughs> Cracked me up. I mean, she's a nut for bread. And doing this dolphin thing with her head the whole time. Like, she's begging and she looks like a dolphin up out of the water. Like, the way they bob their heads. That's exactly what she does. Okay. So, there you see. I just glued the little button on. And you can see. They make absolutely adorable flowers. You guys, I'm telling you. That is just absolutely cute. And so simple to make. Because they're just, I don't know, I just like them. They're huge. I'm not going to lie about that. And like when I go to put them in a journal, I will probably crunch them in a little bit if possible. Yeah, you kind of can. To give them more depth and um, kind of shrink them. Because those are kind of big. I don't know how much. This size I would use quite a bit, I think. Those I'm not as sure about. But maybe, I don't know. Yeah, they would actually look really pretty on center. Like covers so we're going to do another one okay now you can see where that um baking it kind of causes some issues so we are not going to crunch that too much over in here we're yeah it's just cracking like crazy so we're just going to leave it like that and um kind of flatten it in fact that cracked so badly let's pull some of these color back out and let's grab a one of these and let's layer it that might look good okay let's see and you can see you just kind of bring it out and smush it down you know I, do love, I don't know what it is about making flowers you guys but i do love it it just makes me so so happy i am working on a new digital kit i cannot wait to show it to you guys it is and based on philippians four six through nine i believe it is um, the whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things. I read it to you guys a few months back when I was kind of in the middle of thinking about rebranding this. Yeah, that didn't work. I, I can't not craft. I mean, I'm just gonna straight up say it. I cannot not craft. Okay, I'm hot gluing these two layers together because... Oh, yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I just... Oh, I love it. I love flowers. I love to make flowers. It's just, it makes my heart happy. Okay. Put that bad boy in there. 
My glue is running low. It always gets difficult at this point because I cannot start a new glue stick yet. But I also have no leverage to push to get the glue out. So I'm going to try. You guys are seeing me like completely jerry-rig this. <sighs> okay, it worked. Press that down then. Oh my goodness, guys. I like it better than the other ones. I do. I think that's actually prettier. So, yeah. I mean, I like these. And I'll use these. But I love that. That is so pretty. All right. We have done several now. I think they are absolutely lovely, you guys. I cannot wait to use them in journals, really. That's going to be so fun. I mean, that's just pretty. They're huge. Oh, my, they are huge. But not in a bad way. They're huge in that, like, gorgeous, opulent, over-the-top way. Very shabby chic. All right. I'm going to end with that. I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome week. Leave all the important links that you all need in the uh, description box down below. Be sure to check them out. Make sure you hit that like button. Tell me what you think about this. If you make it, look me up over on Facebook. I have the link in the description box below. And tell me what you, you know, show me your take on it. Because I love seeing how you guys take the projects that I make and make them your own. And um, if you don't know already, you know it. Remember that Jesus loves you so much he died for you, okay? You guys have a great day and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye. Here